Hello and welcome back to Olympus Craft. We are back once again. And this time, I hear some of the members have uh, paid some of their taxes. So uh, we better hurry in here and get these shops opened up. Okay, so over here we have... Okay, the end shop is paid. Oh, diamond. I don't know what the four diamond is. Hmm, I'll have to check see who that is. The shulker shop, the gold shop. The dye shop and the redstone shop have all been paid. See, we're finally getting somewhere. They realize, you know, all these public projects are, uh, without not from their taxes. So let's go open these back up. Okay, so first on the list is the dye and gold shop. So let's get these opened back. Oh, goodness, open back up here. And, uh... Yeah, this kind of made it tough to get to, so definitely want to open this one back up. The problem with the obsidian is, you know, I was hoping that uh, this would keep other people from removing it from their own shops, but in reality, it's more like a huge hassle for me to remove. And we have the redstone shop, which has been paid for, so we'll get this one opened right back up. This was an easy one. I didn't go too uh, crazy with that one. And the shulker shop needs to be opened right back up, so let's get this one done as well. And we're back and open, so everything is now right in the world. I need to double check to make sure there was no other shops that had paid, but uh, it seems like everybody, you know, I'm, they're, they're starting to get the hint. So uh, this is looking good so far. I don't think we have that many that are still closed off. All right, so back over to some of our building here. We are making some decent progress over here at the first mansion base that I have built. I am starting to populate some houses down through this, like the street coming down through. Now, in the last video, I think I had that one built. I may have had that one built. I don't know for sure which ones I had featured last time, but this is a new one. We have another house. It's all, they're all very similar in design. I went for the modern uh, concrete feel of uh, a modern house, they would say these days. Um, I tried to incorporate, I mean, a lot of it you'll see is like the same kind of shape. Um, but, you know, that's uh, that, that's modern houses for you, I guess. There's another one of those shapes. So, I tried to incorporate some different stuff. This one has some lanterns in it. And uh, some of the dark oak slabs there to kind of add some contrast. Some strip jungle logs here. Um, just again, just trying to find a good contrast between, you know, modern and still looking like a house when I get done. Because uh, that's one of the problems that I typically end up with is uh, when I get done building it, does it really look like a house anymore? You know. So yeah, this is uh, somewhat decorated on the inside. Uh, not going too wild with some of these builds, mainly because it's a lot of time and investment and effort into something I'm not sure many people are going to see this late in the season. So that's why I'm just trying to take it easy on this and not go too incredibly wild. Uh, this one here has a pool in the back. I have not put water in here yet. That is coming. Uh, and I believe this one over here, I also put a pool in out back. So again, I use the same kind of pergola. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Or is that it? Pergola? That sounds right. Uh, design back here for a nice little sitting area. Uh, I may trade that out with the campfire just because that would be kind of cool. You sit around a, a campfire here and enjoy your, your house and Everything else around. Don't mind the factory in the background of this one. That's a, that's a bit of a problem. But that's okay. We can correct the view later. Um, if you remembered from some of my previous videos, this area through here was actually a, uh, a valley and a river. And if we break open a block, you can actually see there's the river down there. I didn't actually fill it all in. Uh, I just covered the top because I wanted this to be more of like a, a yard area. Um, I still have more work to do on the terraforming side. I have to fill that little section in. And I also need to make sure this stuff is actually properly lit up. Um, I want to make sure that my base is as mob proof as possible for anyone who might come to visit um, and other things as well. So I'm going to do some trees and moss through here, I think. This is kind of the uh, entrance area where you would, you know, drive up here. And I would expect there to be, like, at least some sort of uh, shrubs or, or something through here. I have some trees over there. Uh, those trees are just natural trees that were left there from before. But I think I definitely need some color through here. So I think I'm going to be planting some trees in these areas here to make these uh, fillies out a little bit more. 
And then the plan for the rest of this area, um, I want to build at least four more modern houses like this. I want them all to be different. I don't want them to be cookie cutter and uh, just look the same as you're going past. I want them to look really good. Um, I am going to do four more houses, I think. Uh, maybe five. We'll just kind of see what happens. I do kind of want to leave some of the natural features in through here. Uh, I am going to definitely cut down like this little mountain here, this little hill, and then flatten out some of these areas back through here because the old village that was here, these pathways, eh, they look kind of dirty. They don't really look uh, quite right. So I am going to completely terraform this section through here, and uh, that'll probably happen in the next episode or two. Uh, the horse barn that's back here, still looking good. I thought I might try and incorporate that into some of these builds as well. We'll have to see. I may end up building a small street right down beside this here that kind of cuts off that way. That'll take you back to the horse stable. Uh, and then I'll probably flatten this area out through here, make it a nice flat plane where you can take your horses out and you can take them for a ride. Alright, since that last clip, I have been busy. Um, I went ahead, and as I had you know talked about before, I got rid of this little mountain here. This thing was actually kind of bothering me. And uh, I went ahead and got rid of a little bit of a mountain that was over here as well. And I still need to finish this. But this is the start of the next house. These houses seem to be getting bigger and bigger as I go along here. Um, they started off kind of kind of small and then uh, a little bigger a little bigger and now we're up to here um, I'm gonna redo some stuff here I still don't have all the decoration done um, I just have some logs down here I'm gonna turn these into like maybe some small trees uh, through here trees through there just kind of fill it out make it look full I also want to put some uh, seats back along the pool here and of course I still have to fill these with water but I'm gonna put some seats and stuff all around the edges. Uh, over here, I wanna have like a sitting area with a fireplace. That's why I put the uh, nether rack there so the uh, fire would stay burning on it. Um, but yeah, a lot more work to do with the decoration. So let's get started on some decoration and I'll see you guys back here in just a minute. Okay, and here we are back and decorated. Uh, at least as much as I am, you know, going to decorate it right now. Um, so inside, we've got just normal decoration. That kind of looks weird. I don't think I'm going to keep how that looks, because it's kind of like a TV, but then I was thinking, like, something beside it. I should have put bookshelves or something. Anyway, uh, we have a nice table. We have more bookshelves. I have a lot of bookshelves from the villagers, so I decided to use them up here in this build a little bit. We have a little kitchenette, a little bar, uh, Eden kitchen here, couches. Um, out back, we've got the pool. I got the little walls up now. I'm gonna put some plants and flowers and stuff like that in through here. And I ran out of jungle leaves, so I gotta go get a few more to finish up this little section here. Uh, we'll fill the pool with water. Over here, we have our fire pit, like I had mentioned before. Um, just lit the stuff on fire, and I used purple blocks, which I've not really used too much in a build. But uh, it was pink and kind of had a cool contrast, so I thought that sounds modern. Let's go with that. Um, Everything else upstairs is just as you would expect. This is the garage area. I might put something in here. I don't have enough room to like build a car, sadly. But, uh, I don't know, it looks kind of cool from the front. Upstairs, we just have a couple bedrooms. 
nothing too uh, exciting. I have a bedroom here, just real basic, uh, with as much decoration as I could kind of muster up for this little build. And some over here, nice area rug, nice bed, you have your storage, you have your bookshelf, you have your lamp, and everything else. You can look down over the pool and entertainment area from up there, which is awesome. But yeah, this is uh, this is the next house on the block, as they would say. So I'm going to be building even more houses. I'm gonna have at least one or two over here. Um, the, my space, you know, is kinda, kinda slowly dwindling down without removing a ton of mountains and, and things like that. Uh, I'm gonna finish out this road going down through here, which leads over to the brewing system and also the bridge that comes across there. I'm gonna bring all these pieces together. I'm going to build another road down through here. I think I've decided for sure now. Build another road right down into here. Kind of clean this area up a little bit and maybe uh, expand on the uh, uh, the stables here. I think I want to put um, like path blocks like these going all up and around this thing from the road just to make it look like it was, you know, well-traveled. So yeah, that's the plan for this area. So it's coming along very nicely. We've got some more stuff done and progress is always great. The view looking down through here is also pretty incredible as well. So I decided to turn shaders on for a little bit and just kind of take a look and see how everything's looking right now. Um, my FPS is not the greatest with these shaders. Uh, it may require a little bit more powerful of a graphics card uh, to handle shaders on the 4K screen that I run. but. Right now, the way that sunset is going behind the mansion, that looks absolutely incredible. Ah, oh, so amazing. And then we can walk down through this way. We can take a look at each of the houses. And actually, let's fly over here to the end because I think it looks, it'll look really cool with all these houses. Yeah, look at this. Oh, this is incredible. I absolutely love this view. We can just see everything. We can kind of see down towards the mansion down there. All the intricate details. The houses. It's coming through awesome. And then you look straight out of a house like this. The way the grass, or the way the leaves move, and the way the glass reflects light. Oh, I absolutely love shaders. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I even fired up the shaders here a little bit so we can kind of a view on our way out today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all on the next episode.